my, my, I've got dodgy eyes on it, so if things go real blurry sometimes and shake, oh, oh you know, from in certain lights. So your phone case now looks like Sorry, it's vibrating. Put it no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> it looks like it's vibrating. So when I first found out that my eyes have got that thing that's wrong with them, oh, it's, yeah, it's only one eye. So this eye has got better than 2020 vision. <clears throat> better than, I didn't even know you could get better than no, 2020 vision. Either. It's better. And this one's fucking all misty. Um, so when I first noticed it was people's eyelashes and eyebrows in the gym when I was PTing them, they'd be leaving. like vibrating. And I'd be like, are you moving your fucking eyes? <laughs> and they'd be like, no. Oh, no, sorry. Uh, was it the eyebrows or the lips? I think it was the lips. And people started getting the lips yeah. done. And I'd be like, are you quivering? And they'd be like, um, no. And I'm looking at the lips in the light and I'm thinking, oh, it must be just the light. Yeah. That's how I started noticing there was something wrong oh, with my God. eye. I wonder uh, if that's from staring at a phone all the time. No, it's because I've got eye disease in that. Oh, yes, you did say, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this one's amazing. So oh, at least, you, at least you're half it, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which half? Oh, who knows? Right, what episode is this? Episode 11. Is it sure? Mm-hmm. Fuck me. Well into double figures. I know. Don't set me goals, man. I want triple figures. <laughs> I can't help myself. Episode... Yeah, episode 11. Wait, episode 11. I'm sure he'll be leaving all of that in anyway, but we'll still start the podcast <laughs> like, <your> welcome back, <laughs> episode 11. We're going to do the... Yeah, I thought he was going to give me a high five oh. then. <laughs> episode 11. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so episode 11. Yes. Action. Oh, God, I want wait. So, Leah, hi, good morning. So, we're done. Good afternoon. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> We've just been talking for an hour straight, so we've got nothing left to say now. Sorry. We did, we did arrange a catch-up episode, but we've already caught up, so yeah, that's it. Yeah, you can just look at us instead if you want. <laughs> it's so, been yeah, a while. It's been a while, yeah, because we missed last one, didn't we? We, got, we ran into some problems we're getting down here, so we were a little bit behind. So you, they're going to have to edit this dead quick to get it out on for our schedule. Yep, <laughs> well, they are. But um, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of a catch-up, see what's been going on. Yep. First shows have happened. You've had some... Yeah, people the season's kicked off. Fuck me, yeah. it's like... Because last time it hadn't, it hadn't all... I know, gone, started, I, know. Had it. I was like thinking... It just all of a sudden it's there again, isn't it? The other day <laughs> I had to look at my phone when I was doing something to see what year it was. I forgot what fucking year it was. <laughs> I swear to God, I was like... Because they all just blend into one. I just feel like I'm just getting back up after you've all kicked me to death in the 2023 season. And then all of a sudden I'm about to get right up to get into the 24 season. I know, it literally doesn't feel like two minutes ago <laughs> since you were like... Oh, I've done, I can have a rest. Yeah, I can shut my eyes now for more than two hours at once. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going again. Yeah. Um, we had, so it was Amy's client last week. Yeah. Kimberly, who was actually from <clears throat> Hull, from where I live. Um, she did the first timers, yeah. which was also in Hull. Um, gold trophy there. Amazing. She looked really good. Um, and then yesterday I had Denise up. Yeah. We all know Denise likes to compete. She, she did obviously a lot of shows. Yeah. So we're straight back at it. Show number one, she won. She looked really good, actually. I think that I think that's probably one of the best I've had her actually. Yeah, I saw I saw her. She looks for those who don't much. follow Denise, she she goes against every single thing that I advise for any woman ever for competing. Um, when I first took over her coaching in 2022, um, that year she did 22 shows. No, 22 shows oh or 23, gosh. 22 or 23. I took over mid-season, and we probably did about 11 or something that's like that. That's actually crazy. She's she's mental. She loves it. She gets better with time. She won't take an off season. When I first took over her, she'd done five years straight without an off season. Wow. From March to November. That is mad. And she gets it? she's in her forties as well. She's she's done taking any steroids or anything like that. She's yeah. like thingy. Yeah. And you see how jack she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um she gets her blood work done all year, every month, wow. and it's perfect all the time. So well, she just is one of those people um, that can just do it and be okay with apparently it. Apparently fucking so, yeah. She defies all logic for what I would ever advise anybody to do <laughs> ever. Um but she likes it, she loves it. She, I convinced her to take an off season. Yeah. In two thousand uh last what the fuck is he? Again, I'm lost with the year, see. <laughs> 2024. So at the end of 22 and the beginning of 23, I convinced her to take an off season, which was only six months, right. by the way. Okay. Um, to gain some actual t- more tissue in her glutes because she kept losing out on glute yeah. shots. And she responded crazily and gained a lot of tissue in her glutes in like six months because obviously she'd been dieting for five years. Yeah. Um, all blood work was fine. She wanted to do the end of the year and we went to the end of the year and then we're back doing this year again. She's got, she's already got the first four shows booked over the next. Amazing. She gets money out of me, you know. I need to put the, I need to put her money up. <laughs> Let's start taking a cut of the uh, yeah, if some prize, prize money. money she gets some prize anything. money, yeah, yeah. I should put her money up. Really, she gets that much graft out of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, she won, um, and then we're doing a Scot- Scottish this weekend with her as well. I've got a few in the Scottish. Yeah. 
Um, and Amy had a client up Darrow in Scotland. They do, do a, they've got their own little circuit up there in Scotland. You've seen it. There's a, yeah, quite yeah. a lot of shows all at the same time of the year in April called Granite City. Um, sure, mm. I think it's called. She done that. There was massive lineup to be fair. She comes second. Um, a brilliant start to the year. She looks. She's fucking good as well. Like yeah. so, she's doing the PCA this weekend um, at the Scotland. Yeah. And I'm going. I'm going to Scotland. Wow. I normally put my seminars on that weekend. <laughs> Are you having a little weekend trip away? Yeah, we am just going up there. I've got a train ticket and yeah. that. I need to book an hotel yet, mind you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I've got Denise in there. I've got Ivana in wellness. And I've got um, Pam in athletic. And I've got Katrina. Wow. It was, was the first time we're doing bikini. Yeah. Um, and the name has got Daryl up there. So I'll see her as well. So it'll be Off to a flying there. start. Yeah, we're moving. And then what's after that? Um, I'm trying to think what date we're on. Yeah, I ain't got no really coming up then really into like the northwest. Um got one in the southwest. Yeah. I won't go through all End my different April. clients. There's a good there's yeah. a good few starting to get competed yeah. now though, basically. Yeah, so it's picking um, up a bit. Yeah, I've got a trained figure lady doing the southwest. Yeah. Um who looks fucking really good as well. Yep. And I've I've got a client competing in six weeks at the first timers. Is that the one where's that? Uh London. It's I don't know. Is it St. Albans? Is that one? It's Six weeks. I can't think off the top of my head. Might be whole again, you know. The, I think it is. It's the, it's the first time is in May, whichever wherever yeah, that one is. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, because um, I ain't got nobody in it, which is for me abnormal. Yeah. But so I've got that, and then the um, the naturals in June. I've got loads doing that, you know. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah, actually really excited that. for that. Did we talk about this last time? Yeah, we were on I think the we touched on it, and we were like, "There's such like a big there's so many naturals for it. that don't do the natural feds. Yeah. So I don't think people even realise because I coach loads of them. And yeah, they, they don't do the natural feds. That. They just do the other federation, so now they're like, oh yeah, PCA's doing. Yeah, it's, there, I blah, think blah, that'll blah, be blah. so good. So yeah. I'm, I'm really excited for that. And until you go, go and like watch some shows and stuff again. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm looking forward to that as well. So. Yeah, so that's all kicked off, which is exciting. Yes, we're back in the thick of it again, um, and we're moving. <laughs> Obviously, the big preparation at the beginning of the year is generally for the universe, yeah, which everyone's getting ready for, which looks like it's going to be a good show. Um, Denise is doing, there's, a, there's one in Amsterdam. The world has been announced in Amsterdam. I know. When I saw that, I was like, oh my God, that is amazing. Everyone was Everyone's going to love they? that post show. Yeah, I know, yeah. I know. I think I got a well liked comment on that. I was pleased with my little comment. Like, Tremblone and Brothels. <laughs> is that what you thought? I, I said, I'll, I'll tell what's his name, Louis Theroux. <laughs> you know, the documentary died, was yeah, the way yeah. documentary is. <laughs> That'll be amazing, though, won't it? Yeah, yeah, it'll be mad. So. Yeah. That'll be fun. <laughs> so that's all cracking off. Um, what else has been happening? You've took some coaches on. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, so much has happened. You've released them. Wait, Big I, feel news. Like I, I feel like I need to, yeah, I feel like I need to talk about this. Let's, I feel like let's take a deep happened. dive into a Nevada, dive, shall we? Go on. Because we've had a lot going on, basically. Yeah. It's been it's been basically four weeks of, like, madness. So, you've seen you've been left, right and centre with events and whatnot. Yeah, and... well, my plan was initially, I was like, right, I'm going to bring Kelsey and Lily on. Obviously, you coach Kelsey. Yeah. Um, Nikita actually coaches Lily. Yeah. So I've kind of like, I've been like, I've known them both for like yeah, ages, yeah, yeah. chatting to them and stuff. So yeah, I brought those two on. Um, so I've actually been like working with Lily since probably back end of last year. Mm -hmm. Just like slowly trying Just to... Getting set up. Yeah, get a set up get all kind of you know like little training bits and bobs yeah. like how to set clients up and all that sort of stuff so bought them to on announced that when was that now three weeks ago maybe i reckon about that yeah two three weeks ago yeah so that was the first thing um so that's all going really well they've started like getting some inquiries and picking up a little bit um and that's quite nice because we've all got our little areas of expertise yeah because like lily's yeah. working with she's got actually a really young um client who's only 17 Oh, right, like okay. getting in, she looks really, really good, but really? she's getting into competing. So it's quite nice because Lily's Lily's only twenty two. So is she's that pretty, old she is? yeah, is that she's what young. She is? She's going. She's just started her second um, prep now. Yeah, yeah. So she's basically working with girls to like get them into. What's she doing then? What's she competing at? Uh, tame figure. She could, which show though? I mean, she competed last year. Didn't oh she? yeah, she's done Fit X, PCA, mm. that sort of thing. Yeah, she's good. Um, yeah, I spoke to her actually. Yeah. I bumped into her at the British. In, um, I think I was just in Nando's. It was Nando's below yeah. where I was staying in the hotel and I was just down there by myself. Yeah. I was like, I'm meditating. <laughs> and um, she come over and, that, and I was chatting to her. Because obviously she's coached by Nick and yeah, she might be yeah, saying, yeah. obviously I was coaching Nick and blah, blah, yeah. blah. Yeah, she's uh, so like proper lovely, chatty. Yeah, like, she seemed it, yeah. Absolutely hilarious. Makes me laugh all the time. Um, so yeah, she's going into a second season and then she's got a few clients now, which is really exciting. So she's basically helping girls get into 
you know, younger girls that are getting into bodybuilding, mm. starting to kind of get into training a bit more. Yeah. Um, and then Kelsey's doing more stuff with like hormone health. She's proper interested in like mindset around, you know, just general mindset yeah. and like relationship food stuff. So it's been really nice because we've done some educational stuff as well with like <clears throat> those sorts of things. Yeah. So I feel like I've got a right little team now, which is yeah, really it's nice. Good. I like it. It's good. Obviously, I know Kelsey. I've coached Kelsey yeah. for four years, I think, since yeah. 2020. I started with Kelsey. So she's a good shout. Yeah. She's a good shout. Like really knowledgeable. So yeah, so we've been doing a load of filming, did a training session together and got some like nice little photos and stuff, some bits and bobs. Um, and then we had the event as well on Saturday. Yeah, I've seen this as well, yeah. Yeah, so Nick actually filmed that. Yeah, that was really seen, nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that was really cool because you know, you know the first time, I don't know if you were like this when you did your um, stage workshops at the start, but I was actually really nervous. Yeah, I was like, what like, if no one turns up? Or like... Yeah, it's like a... <laughs> I d I'm not anymore, but when I first started yeah. putting them on, I used to get real. I think, I don't know if it's nerves. I think it's a bit more like excitement. I like yeah, yeah. really buzzing because I, I said either to the last one or this one that I did, um, I said before we started, I don't feel anything. Like to kill, I was like, why don't I feel anything anymore? She's like, because you're used to putting yeah. them on. Yeah. Um, but then when it starts, I get real excited. <laughs> yeah. I was proper excited, but you know, just when you're like waiting and I was like, oh God, yeah, like. Where's everybody? So how many, you booked tickets for that and that though, was yeah, it? Yeah, so people bought tickets. So I had some clients turn up and then um, the rest were just like people who people had bought tickets who I've been chatting to and stuff. So yeah, I, had, I think I had um, <clears throat> 22 tickets in the end. So I was really, like, it couldn't have held much more anyway, that studio, because it was in yeah, the yeah. studio. Um, a big one next time, don't you, Leah? Yeah, I know. I'm going to have to upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's cool. And everyone was buzzing, yeah? Yeah, it's, it's, it's got good, some good really nice feedback. to give some value to people. And I loved like, it. Yeah, because, I mean, obviously that was a brand new one for you when you mentioned about the posing workshops. I sometimes, because we do things all the time, you mm. forget how valuable it is. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. when I'm saying stuff, I'm thinking, well, like, this is... It's like basic It's just like it's comic knowledge yeah. sort, of, sort of thing or whatever. Obviously, in my head, it <clears> is. <throat> and then, like, Kayla will remind me, she'll go, these don't know these don't mm. know this. And then when the when the seminar's finished, they'll all message me on the night, like, oh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. You'll have got a lot of this yeah, as well. Yeah. Thanks for that. I didn't realise this. It's made me really blah, 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 and all that. And I'm like, yeah. oh, yeah, this is... I like giving that to people. Yeah. You know I mean? Yeah, it is. I love the in-person stuff as well, because I feel like sometimes... Yeah. Um, I bet yeah, you're I mean, the same as well. You know, when you just sat behind a laptop and stuff all day, you get a yeah. bit like not monotonous but it's nice to be able to see people and not like chat to people a little bit more and stuff yeah a thousand, thousand um, percent yeah yeah so i think i think what i'm going to do this year actually is hold some because you know like mm -hmm. how i have everyone come to see me when they're on prep and stuff like that and they kind of come to yeah. stuff like that i think i'm just going to actually hold some days i think across the year maybe even in different locations as well where it's just like an open day yeah. where all clients can just come and they'll train that's the a good gym. idea yeah and then i can have a look at them have a chat to them instead of just like se separating one days off for people to come yeah. for check-ins and stuff yeah. i think i'm just going to put I'm speaking to shannon about it she'll she's going to sort it out but maybe put some days on where i can get everyone to yeah come that's and really good a idea. bit of footage and that as well and everyone can meet each other and train together and yeah rather yeah. than having to organize it with each like individual yeah and obviously person. me who never has time off work trying to have some time away yeah. from work to try and meet people yeah, because yeah, um, I always think that. I'm like, God, when you meet, like, like even when I've come up and trained before, it's like most of your day pretty much gone for, like, one client. Yeah. And it's like if you've got – you're trying to do that with, like, yeah, most yeah. of your clients. It's a lot of time, preps. isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Which ain't too bad at the beginning of the year, but when there's a lot of people competing yeah. at the end of the year, it's a lot of days that are not actually available. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. I have a Monday off day. Monday's my day off. Monday today is, by the way. Oh, day off day. I need to be recording the podcast. I relaxed today. <laughs> Paulie has been grafting, doing all the check-ins, and I've – what did I do this morning? <laughs> I went physio. I've been to the gym. <laughs> got a little pump going. Had a couple of – Put your nice top on. Had a couple of cop. Put my shiny top on. I got – this is out the back of the wardrobe, this. I'm surprised it's I like right. that. I don't wear smart clothes ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think my mum thought I must have been going. So she's just, are you going out for a night out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, from 2016 this time. <laughs> it's been one twice. It's led a label on it. <laughs> you got your brand new top up. I just walk around today. with DW stuff everywhere. <laughs> I know everywhere. Turn up with just different colours. You know when you open my cupboard, you know like Superman when they open the cupboard, there's just like loads of Superman outfits. Mine are just like all different colours. DW, DW tops, all shade yeah. of top. Yeah. All red t-shirts, pink t-shirts, and then all the hoodies, <laughs> bum, 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 like that. That's just I do like the pink like. one, though. The pink one. Yeah, I like, yeah, the, pink I like one. the pink one. I think that I'd have nice. had that on today, but the dog jumped at me and it had all mud all over the front of it. Oh, no. She's proper jumpy, you know. She's like, one minute she's just looking at you, the next thing she's licking your face. <laughs> she jumps off the floor and she's like, there in your face. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> I was I was going to bed the other night, right? I come down the other morning, Saturday morning. She'd shit the bed, so she's got she's in a crate, yeah. right? Big crate. She loves yeah. it in there. We're not punishing her by keeping her in a cage or anything yeah. like that. Yeah. Some of them love it, don't they? So yeah, it's like a safe place, isn't it? I, every night when I go to bed, I just go like that. 
And she yeah. just runs into her wow. crate and I shut the door behind her and all that. Yeah. Anyways, I come down. I'd let her out three times before I went to bed. Right. Didn't have a shit. Come down the next morning. Shit all over her crate, aren't Oh, she? no. Normally they don't do that, do they? Like, I throw in the crate. Oh, the crate. she'd shit in it and then fucking <laughs> laid in it, Leah. She didn't just shit in it. She wanted to squash it as well. So it was all like... Oh, like someone no. Had, someone had grouted some tiles, but with shit all around the back of the fluffy dog bed into the sad. And I'm like... That was a nice morning, then. Yeah, I pull that out sad. Then next thing I turn around, there was a big crate, the big... Um, Wicker box lid. She decided to have a shit in that while I'm sat doing check-ins <laughs> in my living room, just looking at me. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, so, so that was all going off. Anyway, oh, so that's on the night time, goes to bed. She's like a little whippet. She just appears out of nowhere. She's not actually a whippet. She's a yeah. Labrador slash with a golden retriever. Um, so I thought I'd best leave her in the living room tonight. Because yeah. she's no bed because she's shit in it and it's not dry yet from the washing machine. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and she was in the living room, Leah, I swear to fuck. And I've got quite a long house. Mm. And then I just opened the kitchen door to go up to bed. <laughs> and next thing, I look in front of me, there's a dog halfway up the stairs. <laughs> Daphne's asleep She's upstairs gone. in the middle of the night. And I'm like, Bow. you know, when you're whispering but shouting, get here, Bow. get here now. And she just looked at me, I swear to God. And then she just went, boom, right up the stairs. Dabbed On the all bed? Up. Yeah, dabbed oh, all over no. everyone. Friggy hell. <laughs> Daphne was like, why do we, did you not go on bless as a dog? She's five years old, there's a dog diving on her at one o'clock in the morning. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, so, anyway. <laughs> that's made my day, to be fair. Yeah, she's a maniac. It's oh. fun though, aren't they, puppies? She's, she's only oh, six, yeah. seven months, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, but, they are great, aren't they? So, I don't know where that story come from. Why was I talking about that? I don't know, but anyway, I'm, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. Oh, my pink top. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah the pink top. They got the dog <laughs> Yeah, because she it. just jumps up at everything, yeah, yeah. so it's got paw prints all over it. I could have worn it, but I think, like, maybe I'd look like a bit of a tramp. You know, <laughs> well, I just I had to rescue a deer on the way here. Like, you know I mean? Rescue a deer. <laughs> I had to pull over and rescue a deer. Can't help it. Just a man out of you, know what I mean? Oh, God. Anyway, <laughs> anyway I won't tell them lies. So... <gasps> Mm. I'm lost. What did we're, we're talking about? Um, oh yeah, face to face check-ins. <laughs> <laughs> that took a big sad step, didn't it? Oh god. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So your event went well. Yeah, it was really good because I did. Um, I did a presentation on um, like how to set yourself up for preps. You know, like doing an off season considerations because a lot of the girls there like weren't bodybuilding really. They'd kind of looked at it, wanted and to find interested. out more about it, and there's yeah. nothing. There's nothing really out there like that. Is there? Like it's if mental in it. Oh, we've said this before, haven't we? Yeah. That people can just do the research like that now. Yeah. That's so good for people. Yeah. But like if someone's on the fence, then what they normally do is they'll just get in touch with the coach and work with the coach. Yeah. So I thought, well, it's basically a cheaper way for people to go start working with the coach and already be more clued up about it. Yeah, found out some stuff. Yeah. So we did one on um, getting into prep and like setting yourself up. And then we did one on hormone health, like looking at um, like restoring it post prep and like considerations and stuff. And then we did one on, um, what was the other one? Oh, like post-show and like improving your relationship with food. Mm. So we did that. And then Sanaya from Limitless Flow did um, like a workshop that was like, you know, like the routine they do in PCA. Yeah. It was basically like that. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> I've seen that. I see a lot of this flow stuff that everyone's yeah, doing. Yeah. I think it's because um, a, lo- a lot of the girls hadn't posed. I thought, how are we going to do this with bikini and figure? And it's just yeah, going to get true. messy. So they just so had thought, them like. Yeah, just more like confidence. Yeah, like yeah, getting yeah. people actually like. Because it's going to help the posing, isn't it? If they've spent time doing flow, yeah, it's yeah. Like a popular thing at the minute. <clears throat> and then, um, it's all right, just uh... I thought it was your foot. It, <laughs> it was your foot, my was foot. It? Was it your foot? <laughs> I kicked the table as well. Is your foot? Was your foot on the other side of that? Oh, is that your foot there? <laughs> Sorry, Leah. I thought it was part of the table. Dan's had enough of me. And them trainers are too white for me. <laughs> I know. Stamped. I washed them. I clean they are. I washed them. I put them in the washing machine. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah. Actually, yeah. no. Will did. He was like, you can't wear them for your event. I'm putting them in the wash. <laughs> this is not wrong. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and then um, Nat was there talking about bikinis. So, yeah, it was lovely. Nice day. Got to meet some clients that I've not met before, so that was really nice. Yeah. yeah. Bad when you meet people for the first time, isn't it? Yeah. That's one thing that I always get anxiety about, actually, before my workshops. Meeting people. Load, well, my face, to, <laughs> my face recognition system that in my brain. Oh, we've spoke about this before. It's not particularly amazing. <laughs> so when I'm walking around at bodybuilding shows, especially, people will be like, all right, Dan. And I'm thinking, fuck. Who's this person? And so there'll be someone real well known as well. And they'll be like, all right, Dan, blah, 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 blah. And I'm talking away and chatting away. They'll be driving home about three hours mm. later, I think. I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm absolutely horrendous. So I have this fear when I meet loads of clients at once. Because them, them workshop are like... Yeah, like, it's a lot of people. There's there, usually about there? 40 people in there. I mean, they're split into two classes, mind you. So there's maybe 20 in each or whatever. Yeah. 
And there might be like 10, 12 of them in each one that I've not actually met in yeah. real life. And I don't look at people's faces on check-ins. You're looking no. at their physiques, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. And they obviously look different as well. So I always get this fear that I'm like yeah. thinking, oh, is that? Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Until my brain clicks in and realizes who it is. But I'm, I'm always all right. I think yeah. I just overthink it. Yeah, I know I'm so what you terrible mean. at shows. Yeah. I sometimes get that in gyms, though. Um, you know, when, I mean, because you know, like when you start doing YouTube and you start doing podcasts and stuff and like you start talking a bit more on social media and then someone will come up in the gym and be like, oh, hi, you are right? And I'm like, fucking hell, who is this person? <laughs> Well, I just say all right and talk to everybody anyway. Whoever yeah, it is, so I do I, but you know, you just feel shit. really rude and you're like, I know, yeah. I know that I've spoken to you before, but I can't for the life of me. Yeah, I'm bad. Think I'm of put so a face bad. to name. So bad. My mate proper takes the piss out of me because I just don't recognize really well known people. Yeah. And it's like oh, two days later, and I'm like, ah, oh, I know I was talking to her now. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking thick. Thick as fuck. Anyway, we'll get by. Yeah. So Everybody? that went well for you. That was good. And then the community. <laughs> And then the community, more Every, stuff, come on. Just Leah's in one been day. very busy. I've been seeing that you've yeah. been very busy, to be fair. Tell yeah. us. Well, basically, I thought when oh, I was... I'm on this um, one, aren't I? You are. Oh, Dan's I'm, featuring I'm this. I'm more happy to talk about it now because yeah. it's involving me. <laughs> <laughs> I got all your videos uploaded actually this morning, so they're all ready Did to you? Go. Even the one with the spelling mistake? I thought, I'm just putting it on. It'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who was on Leah's site that sees a spelling mistake, we saw this. <laughs> we did, and I but thought... But it was about 25 minutes into recording a video, again, and then I was right. like, I don't want to tell her now, because she's recording, and then <laughs> yeah. you must have seen it and been like, fuck, I'm not going to tell him now, he's been talking for 25 minutes. Yeah. And then we got to the end, and we were like, did you see that spelling mistake? <laughs> on the first slide or something. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's basically... I thought I would lump everything together, because I feel like it's all similar, and I thought, right, I'm just going to bash it all out in one go, and then it's done then, isn't it? Mm. So that's basically... So the VIP for that opened on Monday, no, Wednesday, and that's open until Monday. So it closes on the 15th. Class. So actually, it'll be closed by the time this pod comes... Post, 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 what? So we, can't, <clears throat> so we can't advertise it right now because it's closed. Well, you can still sign up, just not on the cheaper price. You missed it. You're going to have to pay more money now. <laughs> so, yeah, but that's basically... I wanted to do, like, a, similar to the event, so, like, a community for people that are getting into bodybuilding, yeah. getting into competing. Class idea. We spoke yeah. about it all when you thought about it, didn't we? Yeah, it's, like, literally, like, a year ago, and then I Is never really... I initially had the idea ages, must have been... Because I messaged Shania about it. Yeah. Um, that must have been, like, last January, I think. And then I never really did anything about it. I was like, oh, I don't know. And then I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do it. So it's, like, a group chat, and then it's got... It's got different courses that are like self-paced. So it's got some on bikinis, some on like the ones we did about categories. It's got Danny's on it, Danny Bosworth doing some on relationship with food. Got um, Wiki doing some on like hormone health. Mm -hmm. She's like a doctor. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, and then I've done some on like training, nutrition, pre and post workout, like all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's got a course in it. It's got loads of guests in it. Class. Um, which Valuable. Is really cool. Valuable. Yeah. And that's then the, that's the word of the day today for this yeah, episode. Valuable. And, and then like, it's got um to value. It's got like an eight week I'm doing like an eight week program in there. So if people want to, they can and that's running on a set date. So I think the first one's going in May. So that's gonna be like a program within it where people can get access to like a tracker, which has got like the training, the nutrition on. So it's a bit like a spike group coaching program, really. Yeah, yeah. So you know, for people that maybe can't afford one to one coaching or they don't want the check ins, but they need like the macros and the training plan. Yeah. Um, Although just something a little bit yeah, less bit intense a, than coaching, I suppose. Yeah. Been, uh, more than <clears> out <throat> else, maybe a bridge into coaching. Yeah, like a bit of an education thing. So I've got like lives every week on like different topics and stuff like that. Yeah. So that's run within the communities. Also, if you join, you can also join the eight week thing, eight week program for free within it. Class. So I feel like everything's Fly like that, yeah. come together in one go. Yeah, a lot of stress, but like, it's been worth it. Yeah, but <clears throat> after that lunch on Monday that all the videos will be on, that'll be all set up, and then I'm just going to chill for a bit, I think. Yeah. Until I get another idea. <laughs> and then I'll be like, right, <laughs> next thing. Cause that's just... Well, that's how, that's how it works, isn't it? That's what, yeah. I mean, I know your brain's quite similar to mine. It just, it's always tick, 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 something else, something else, yeah. something else. I'm like, I'll, I'll say, yeah, I'm going to have a couple of weeks off, and then I'll get two days and then be like... Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to chill. I'm going to do this for this year. I'm going to do that. Yeah. Everyone, everyone's around me is just like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Two days later, I'm like... What do you think of this? What do you think of this idea I've had <laughs> 24 hours after I've stopped doing the last yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. I'm still finishing the sentence we're saying I'm going to relax and I've already started the sentence <laughs> yeah. of saying, what about this idea though? That's literally me as well. Yeah, fucking horrendous, isn't it? So yeah, that's what's happened, basically. Keeps us ticking. So you've done that. Yeah. I suppose I've had my workshop. 
Yeah. Which I suppose we we'll talk about. Which Looked very busy. Sort of touched on. Yeah, it was. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be as well. As the numbers tick through, I'd kind of been monitoring it a little bit as people were signing up to it. But not that much, because I'd have been I'd put it on if there was two people or hundred yeah. people. It's what it's for them, in it, do you know what I mean? So um I kind of looked at it and thought, I said to Kill, I said, I think it'd be very busy this one. It doesn't seem to be thingy. And the next thing, I checked it the day before and I was like, oh, it's the busiest one yeah. we've ever had. <laughs> I bet people leave it to last minute because they're oh, yeah, I need to do that, I need to do that. Yeah, and then it I gets think the day before maybe, like, yeah. Oh. I think a lot, did, a lot did seem to come through last minute, to be fair. But yeah. yeah, that was, I think it was the busiest, pretty much the busiest one we've done. But best spread. Normally yeah. we'll have a lot more in figure than bikini or a lot more in bikini than figure. And it's a bit like, yeah, excuse me, it's a bit like um, 25 in one and 13 in another or something like that. Whereas this was more like, 20 odd in each one sort of thing do you know what I mean so it was kind yeah, of like good, equal it? distribution which was handy yeah. <laughs> yeah. if 30 in one and then 5 in another is not going to be the best <laughs> it's mad though to be fair when I look back to when we started them 2021 I think we put our I first think I came one to on. the you first one you did there, on yeah. that because I came to a couple of the earlier ones yeah because 21's when we got out of Covid wasn't it so I think we put yeah. one on at the back end which was Kayla's idea because it's their workshops really it's our workshop, but it was there because it's a posing thing, isn't it? Yeah. Well, then obviously I do all the face-to-face checking yeah, yeah. there and then I'm going through things and picking things with people and all the rest of it. Um, but I think there was, that one, there was 20 people in total, I think. Yeah. And there was like 13 figure and seven It's still decent, isn't it? Like, like 20 for a first yeah, one. Yeah, but we had bikini and figure in the same class. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it was just like, <clears throat> boom, 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 and they just got busier yeah. and busier. Yeah. Um, I guess you've got like Meg, Amy, and your clients as well now. Yeah, so yeah, it's more, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's more people, that as there? well, yeah, yeah. So obviously, Amy was there. She'd come back from Dubai for it. Meg's in Australia, so she couldn't yeah. make it back. Global obviously. Team DW. I know. We're all around the world <coughs> now, aren't we? Yeah. Well, have, Meg- you, have you found that they've got many clients from like where, from where they're kind of, where they are or not really? Um, Meg done from Australia. Because, um, I mean, nobody will know who she is, I suppose, really, apart from maybe people in the gym. Um, Amy gets some from Dubai and that, yeah, definitely. She has some people from over there. I feel like there's a lot of coaches in Dubai in there. Yeah, coaching as so. well. The coaches go in it, so they don't have to pay any tax. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't blame them, to be fair. Oh, no, neither do I. <laughs> it's, not my, it's not my vibe, like Dubai. The whole Dubai thing's not really my no, vibe. No, I don't think. I, I went there for... Um, when, it was when I signed up with you, actually, because we had that call in Dubai. Yeah, 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 the yeah, yeah. You were You were on the toilet. <laughs> you were trying to drive around. I was sat in the signal. middle of an house in a state trying to find where there was a signal <laughs> bouncing off somewhere to try and get a signal for you. And I was in the toilet in Dubai apartment. Yeah. <laughs> we're so classy, aren't we? <laughs> yeah, and I was there for four weeks, and we got back, and we were like, mm, no, I couldn't live there. Yeah, is that how long you was there? Four weeks? Yeah, a month, because we went in, went in lockdown. We were like, let's go, let's get out of here. Yeah, did you go well when you went there? Yeah, go? me and Will went. Did yeah, you? we just worked there for a month. Oh, right, okay. Oh, because yeah. of lockdown on that. Well, we booked it before lockdown, and then it just happened that we flew out like the day before uh-huh. when it got announced. Oh, so no it way. just that timed really on your well. Feet there. Yeah, it was amazing, but I just think it's very like. Yeah, it's not my. Not that there's wrong with it or anything like that. It's just not very me. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. I'd have to <clears throat> get a tan and shave my body hair so often. <laughs> 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 Buy men's sunglasses instead of women's <laughs> sunglasses. <laughs> I got some last week from Prime out there, £1.50. Do they fuck keep the sun out of your eyes? I, I was sat outside Caravan with two pairs of sunglasses on because <laughs> I was going bland. Turns out you do have to pay proper money for sunglasses oh, yeah. if you want the sun to keep out Are your eyes. Are they men's ones? Yeah, they're oh, men's good. ones. Positive stuff. I've gone back to my women's ones now. Oh, okay. <laughs> my mate felt sorry for me the other day, tried giving me some. <laughs> it's like, it's all right, I don't want them, all right. I can't afford some. I just seem to keep buying the wrong ones. Oh, oh God. So that's, yeah, the posing event that? went well. That was popular, <clears throat> um, which done well. I think it added, obviously, some good value to the people that went to it as yeah. well, which will carry over nicely onto the stage. I got to see everybody. Filmed some good content, actually. Um, I think. Did we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, because I've been seeing all the stuff you've been putting on, all <laughs> yeah, your funny yeah. videos. Yeah, Nikita had done some good ones, yeah. actually. I did that voiceover video on. Yeah, um, I did see that. That actually made my day. <laughs> I had some fun doing that, you know. I was, I was just gutted it finished after a minute and a half because I could have been sat there all day <laughs> just talking shit. I was thinking, I had loads more to say. Um, Why did it have to only last a minute and a yeah. half? Um, <clears throat> yeah, they're fun, them. I'm going to have some fun with them, I think. Yeah. Nikita said, because she said to me, she's like, I've got all these videos of everyone checking in, but like, I don't really, like, there's nothing to, do you know what I mean, make it stand out and be decent. Yeah. She said, why don't you do a voiceover thing for it? So I was like, what's that? I, I didn't really know, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I thought people had been making them themselves. I didn't know you could do it on Instagram. So you want me to just put it on Instagram, press the voiceover, and then you just yeah. talk over it? It's probably, probably so I was like, fuck it. off, you can do that. <laughs> oh, no, that's it now. 
<laughs> and she was like, you think I yeah. Away? She said, just make it bodybuilding, but a little <laughs> bit. Um, oh, what's it called? David Attenborough. Yeah. Which I did. I forgot all about. She'd said it actually, but they ended up turning out a little bit like that. Anyway. Yeah, brilliant. I was like, and then here we have. <laughs> oh, there I am again. Look. <laughs> I know, I was watching it like this. I amused this is, myself with that This is so one. done. I thought, oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, just cut the word toss pot off at the end, I was good. Because <laughs> I was watching it go along, and I'm thinking, I need to fit all these words in. And then I'm just, I didn't even have it planned. I was just talking yeah, just shit winging as it, it come out my head. It's like one cut, one take thing, as I do everything with one take. And then it just cut off before I said the word pot. It went toss pot. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a toss pot. <laughs> I was like, fuck's sake, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> just to squeeze that word yeah, in. You have to but the captions it picked the it up, thing. though. The <laughs> captions picked it up. I was like, go on, captions. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, captions knew what I was going to oh, say. Oh, God. People are always so surprised by the word toss pot. The guy hadn't heard that word in years. <laughs> like, you haven't been around me for very long. I say it all the time. <laughs> <laughs> People call me all the time. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> We've got so, some yeah. nice thing as well. I forgot about that. Oh yeah, we've got some nice thing. We've got a posing workshop. We're doing a live. Uh, we're doing a live episode of this. Another podcast that maybe does. Will that be? A, will this be a number of it then? What? Will this be a number? Like, will that be number fourteen? Oh yeah. We haven't really when thought about that, have we? Oh yeah. Oh, we'll keep it out of the episode. No, because this is on Monday, so this is th- this episode will come out on Monday, so this one will be the episode eleven. No, I don't mean that. I just mean will we put a number next to it in general? Maybe we can just do special edition. Special edition, that's what live, I'm thinking. And then yeah. it went mess up all our numbers. Yeah, I don't want to fuck with the numbers. Like people think, that. Well, why have they started doing it outside? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> They've got a low budget. <laughs> How are we doing that anyway? Is she buying all this stuff? She's got um, little mics. Oh, really? <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure how she's going to do it. We'll figure it out. Well, I only found out the other day we're actually going to it. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, she thought... asked me ages ago. Yeah, but I thought in my head it was just like a live, like a zoom in, like a... Uh, we we're going to be sat at a laptop doing it as like a Zoom, but we're actually going to it. Yeah, I knew yeah, that. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> when she that said live, I thought, my... yeah, I know that kind of gives me, it away, doesn't for me, it? Really, because I'm not very computer generated. <laughs> live means you, you're actually yeah, doing it. Do you know what I mean? That's what it is. Everyone else goes, "I'm going on a live," and I'm like, "Well, live what?" <laughs> on the Zoom call with like 30 people, I'm like, "Well, that's that's not live. <laughs> you're on a computer. What do you mean?" <laughs> yeah, I've clocked onto that now. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for that. I'll be cool. We're going to do a little. Um, What's the word? I don't know what the word is. But anyway, the crowd's going to be there, the people at the posing thing. What well, do you reckon people heckle us? That'd be good. What do you mean? If they like go, Wanka, <laughs> I'm through. You beard shit. <laughs> Leah. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, thanks. <laughs> I'm like, not there. Uh. Shaved it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't you like the shape of it. It was sad mods. <laughs> Oh, just things like that. I'm going to read Jimmy Carr's book to get some heckle replies in case we get heckled. Or people start throwing fruit at us. <laughs> I'm going to go around giving loads of people fruit to throw at us. You're going to I'll start. Go, throw you're it at Leah. Throw it at Leah people. first. <laughs> <laughs> it just turned into a food fight, won't it? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, That's going to be fun, then. I'm excited for that. What's that? May 10th, 11th, something like that, isn't it? It's the 11th of May. So we're doing a live episode. We're going to get some cues from everyone at the posing workshop and then we're going to film it and put it on, put it out as a live one. Yeah. As a little special edition. Oh, okay. Yeah. I get it. I'll just be yeah. there. I'll yeah. just do what I always do. Just turn up and talk. Yeah, well, Dan, what do you think of this? I'll, I'll just be there. I don't worry about it. I'll, just, I'll just talk. I don't understand. <laughs> we're going to get questions thrown at us anyway. I don't understand so. what you're all talking about. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's happening. I'm excited for that. Um, what else has been going on? Oh... I've off seasoned a bit. Yeah, you've off seasoned. Yeah, I'm loving it actually. Yeah, back to it. Yeah, back to it. After Feeling a little good. Dip in it the takes road. a little bit of setting in after when you, you know you've got a full couple of years off stage. It's a yeah. little bit like wow, that's a long way away. Yeah, but it soon starts to go in. You, so, know what I mean? you just, I think the first bit is always a bit like you know because oh. you see yourself gain weight a bit and you're like oh god like oh and then once you stabilize out and you settle yeah. you just kind of get used to it and then yeah. it just becomes like and then you start seeing yourself a little bit like everyone else sees you yeah. as well and I'm not talking about you here actually because you're actually all right but a lot of people panic with that yeah and uh, yeah. The, I've got the clients going through it now who st- struggle a lot with putting the size on and things like that yeah um and now they're starting to see themselves I think yeah these are the ones that compete October November they're starting to see themselves as everyone else sees them now yeah like fucking awesome do you know what I mean like yeah, yeah, yeah. like you look really really good like yeah. you need to understand that do you know what I mean yeah I think it just takes a bit of time doesn't it because in your head you see yourself what 20 30 pounds up and you're like oh that's god that's a lot of weight like yeah. that's that's a lot of weight isn't it it is but, but like I always I mean I don't know if you think this or if you've been through this with anyone but, but when we're talking people like peeled out of their fucking nut yeah you get very focused on how much they've came up from the stage 
Yeah. Well, I've put thirty pound on. Thirty pounds up. I'm like, yeah, but that was fucking like you had no skin. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like that was very very peeled. Yeah. So to put thirty pounds on is yeah. So what? That's not. I would. I want you to put thirty pounds on. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah. Um. So people kind of going through that and whatnot, but I'm enjoying that actually with people now at the minute, and I've got some that come with me. As they kind of started prep, as I hate, I hate taking people on like that, but they started like the prep last year. Yeah. And all I had to go <clears> with was where they was, what they had, what we had to get off, and what I had to do to yeah. get them there. Um, so now to bring them away from that and focus on 2025 um, with them, and then start taking them through the processes of the off-season, of the initial push-up, yeah. before obviously we've got to pull down a little bit in the year and all that. Um, and they're actually really enjoying it now. Yeah. And they're, they're looking fucking class, and the training, and the filling out, and like all these things. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm buzzing off that with a few like new people that yeah. I've, I've not been through this before. With, do you mm. get what I mean? I really like that bit. That's like my favorite bit. Of I, I love it. Coaching. You, yeah, know, when, you I, know, when you get girls and they're like, "Oh, I'm actually like," and they've never done that before. They've always dieted, and then you get them through that, and they're like, "Oh, I actually feel really good." Yeah. Like, yes. Oh God, <laughs> I've, got, I've got energy, and I can yeah. train, and I'm getting response <clears throat> to everything that I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah, and all things like that, and obviously people who've struggled with cycles and things, and they're like coming yeah. back to normal and things like that. I'm like. Yeah. yeah, I really do enjoy that part. And it's it's funny to watch, and you'll get this, as obviously as you get more competitors and you get going and what mm. have you, and you're watching like your 2023 group then going through their off-seasons as the 2022 group, I'll stay near the microphone, the, 2000, <laughs> <laughs> the 2022 group is now going back into their competing season in 2024 because yeah. they've missed that year. Yeah. Then my 2023 group is now going through what they go through in 2024, yeah. the off-season, as we start moving towards 25, it's, it's Everyone mad Everyone goes around in like little groups. Yeah, because we yeah. try obviously not to encourage people to compete year to year because yeah. it's not great, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Especially, well, for women mainly. Um, so to watch them going through the processes yeah. of getting better and all the rest of it, and then the ones that I had on stage in 2022, beginning and back end, are now coming near to being ready for the early mm. season 24. Like, it's cool to watch. Yeah, you know what I mean? it is. It's cool. Yeah. So I'm enjoying that at the minute. And um, We're going through them weeks now where they're kind of like eight, seven, six weeks out. So they're, I keep burping, I'm really sorry. I hope you can't hear it on this. Hello, one, two, one, two. <laughs> Dan's drunk too much. I've yesterday. had too much coffee, which is probably why I'm talking faster than normal, and then Coke Zero. <laughs> Stocked up which on drinks. <laughs> these things have got more caffeine in than you ever anticipate as well. They've got a lot in, you know, when you look. Um, anyway, blah, blah, blah. Um, <laughs> we're in that stage where, <laughs> are you all right? <laughs> no, I'm just laughing at you. Sorry. So sorry in my life. Ooh. We're in that phase now where everyone's like eight, seven, six, and so they're not shredded mm. yet. Yeah, but, but they're, they're getting pretty lean. But the starting to get quite lean. Yeah. But then they're starting to panic that they're not that they don't look ready. I've literally got this in my um, and I'm like, it is a long time yeah. away. And especially when you're that lean, like when you when you're a bit heavier, like a pound or two, you can't really see it. But when you're pretty lean, like a pound comes off, a couple of pounds come off, and it, it looks quite different. Yeah, like yeah, especially if they're like five foot, five yeah. one, five two, like them kind of heights as well. Yeah. Off any height, to be honest, but you take half a kilo off someone who's five foot one, yeah. who's already in good shape. You're like, damn, Jesus. Yeah, you start seeing more lines come through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, they're at the point, and I'm like, look, you, you're looking better every <clears> three <throat> days because we're checking like every three or four days. Yeah. We're on to the double check-ins and all that. You literally can see a difference every mm. three or four days at the minute. Like, we've yeah. got nothing to worry about. That's going to be there before you know it. Yeah, exactly. But that's just, the, that's just prep coaching, isn't it? You, gotta, you go yeah. through the... It's fairly chilled at the beginning because there's nothing to worry about the first 10 weeks or so. And then you get into that bit, and then they get and another three or four weeks. The lobby buzzing because yeah. they'll be changing daily and yeah, fucking yeah. everything will be going on and all that. And I, that is the cool bit. Yeah, need to keep everyone calm. Yes, not let anyone lose their head. Stay zen, man. <laughs> Stay zen. <laughs> Today's podcast finishing quick. Yeah, <laughs> panicking. Yeah, panicking never got us nowhere. <laughs> so yeah, all so yeah, set. we're going through that bit, and then we'll be into May, and then everyone will be <clears> shredded. Then they'll be competing, and then all the people who are competing at the back end of the season will start to kick off, and we go again. Bah! <laughs> <laughs> and it all goes mental. Oh, fun, fun. What's an Aldi as well? Oh, have you? Where are you going? Um, Tenerife. Nice. Yeah, it's my mum and dad's 50th wedding Aww. anniversary this year. That's 50 cute. years. That is a long time. You won't see much of that in the future. They got together when they got married when they were like 18, 19, or whatever. Yeah. Um, and obviously they're 70-odd now. 
Yeah. Um, I think my dad was, say, 21 and my mum was 19. Yeah, people don't like really that. get married that young anymore, do they? If you was to get married at that age now, you would say, what the fuck are yeah. you doing? Are you stupid? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because, like, it's not going to last. But people it's mm. people are different than once yeah, they, they yeah. stayed together. It's like a whole new generation, isn't it? Yeah, really? they're different. And obviously they didn't just friggin' break <clears> up but yeah. every time somebody sneezed, you know what I mean? They, they worked through it and all the rest <laughs> of it. Not that my mum and dad have maybe had any problems. Yeah. They, might, they might have, they might not, I don't know. But they've been together 50 years. Um, so I'm taking them to Tenerife. Oh, that's what a, really nice. What a prize. <laughs> no, we've got, I've booked them. We've gone to a posh. Like, Are you all going? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everybody. Daphne yeah. and everyone. Yeah, Daphne. I tried to go with my brother and his daughter as well, but they can't get more time off. And he's just bought an house as well. Okay, so yeah. He's struggling to get there, but um, he's already got two holidays anyway, so he's all right. Yeah. But yeah, I'm taking them. Um, when are you going there? July. Mm-hmm. I was trying to get. I was trying to get a week. There was one week yeah. in July where I want peeking somebody. Um, yeah, we've. <laughs> Have I told you this yeah. already? There was one week where I want peeking somebody for a show, and I thought <clears throat> buzzing because yeah, because you know it's like peak week. You have to get up every morning yeah. and tell them what to eat. So I thought I don't want to do that while I'm on all day. If I can help it, there was one week and I we went to book that week, and I couldn't get the bastard dog kennels. Oh it's God! Fucking gutted. So I've, I've got somebody on peak week while I'm on holiday. Oh, uh, okay. So I'll be getting up every morning to up and down the chicken and rice. At least that's not too bad. One. Yeah. One. It's yeah. Like one. Eight or ten. No. Minutes, no. Is that's it? true. Yeah, yeah. 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 But I mean, I ain't bothered. I'm not a big drinker anyway, so yeah. it's not like I'm going to get levered. No mad nights out. Get levered and then like, wake up <laughs> and be like, just. Uh, I think you look. Uh, I think you're oh, alright. Like, what this check is from last year? What's what's it? <laughs> Still full of disarray. <laughs> no, no I, I'm not bothered anyway. So I'm normally get up early anyhow. Yeah. So and I'll be working while I'm away, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so that'll be nice little break. Um, damn the dog kennels, but yeah, we'll be doing that. Um, and also possibly, I better not say actually in case she watches it. But Daphne will be taking her away at the end of the year as well. I think somewhere Aww. nice where Santa lives. Oh <laughs> yeah, she's said about this before. That'll be really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that'd be cool. Um, I think that's it, really. Yeah, I haven't got anything else. Yeah. Um, should we call a episode there, or should yeah. we do a question? I think let's leave this one here. How long have we been going? Do you know? Who knows? Time has no value. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> forty-four minutes. We brilliant. better go now. That's people great. Are, we're going because people will have already turned this off. 44 minutes is too long for a YouTube episode. <laughs> this generation has no concentration whatsoever. Swipe, swipe, swipe. We usually get eight seconds. Someone will have watched the first eight seconds of this episode yeah, and then turned it off happened. anyway. And then they'll be watching Kuba's episode probably instead. Because <laughs> he'll have told them something important and we've just talked shit for 45 minutes. <laughs> Leah told us nothing. She's telling us about a beard. And- <laughs> And a coaching and throwing fruit at people, and Dan is just talking shit. Dan's told us about his, <laughs> his uh, a rapid dog. <laughs> yeah, rapid dog who shits everywhere. <laughs> so I hope we've added value to your day today. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we've got an, we've got an informative one next. We're answering yes. some questions. We'll do some information on the next one. <clears> so <throat> if you're watching this beyond time, you fast forward to the next one because <laughs> we'll talk about some bodybuilding yeah. probably. Amazing. If Lee don't distract us again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you made me laugh so much. My uh, chest has gone all weird. <laughs>